get so high to the whip by the way so the importance of habit right you get told a lot that um habit is the starting point and one of the main pillars of self-improvement but why i'll tell you why because think of it this way think of it like this i was thinking about my dad right so my dad has an hour nap every day about like i don't know 12 one he always has an order just just thing that he does and i was thinking about it so I was like, it's known that if you wait a little after you've woken up um, to have like a coffee, like an hour, an hour and a half later, you actually get um, the actual like release of hormones and stuff which wakes you up. Um, and then if you have a coffee after that, you don't have a crash later, as opposed to having a coffee as soon as you wake up and then later on those hormones start flooding all at once and then you just crash. That's kind of how it works. Um, so I was thinking about my dad, right? Because he has this hour nap every day and I know for a fact he has a coffee as soon as he wakes up and I thought to myself, if he just made the effort daily to have a coffee a little bit later, maybe he wouldn't need a nap. And what's mind blowing about that is, is that if you add up that hour every single day for a year, that's 365, let's be conservative, 300 hours a year daily that he's sleeping, right? So 300 hours a year. That equates to something like, so we're talking for it, what it is, in between a week and two weeks, there, a year of being asleep, just because of your daily habit of sleeping every day. That includes sleeping in that week or two weeks. So it adds up to a month. It could add up to a month of waking time. In between two weeks and a month of waking time, that because of your daily habit of having that nap, has a compound effect. So that is obviously an example, but extrapolate that against any sort of metric. You sort of realize that your, your daily habit, like everything you do every day, forms the basis for who you are, um, what you achieve by the end of the year, what you achieve in your life. Obviously, that's sort of like a negative way of putting it, but it also happens with your positive habits. So you're spending an hour in your gym. Mate, that's spent two weeks and years just yeah. totally working out and stuff like that. The foundation of self-improvement are your habits, so get good habits, because it is the foundation, <laughs> it is the base layer. Now, warm up, mate. <laughs> get up early like we did at 6 a.m sort of getting a routine of getting up early going to bed at the same time you can get all the productive stuff done in the morning because me and Anton have been saying we're most productive in the morning and by the time it comes to sort of evening um, we start feeling the the tiredness the fatigue comes in so the, pro the productivity is very high first thing in the morning so that's why we like going to the gym we like going for a walk breathing doing all the difficult stuff first thing 